dear friends welcome to this edition of uh, of vbs anatoma this video contains graphic images and uh, videos of medical surgical and anatomical nature it is intended as an educational video for students of medical dental nursing physiotherapy allied health sciences and post graduates of medical and surgical specialties viewer discretion is advised for all other friends and well wishers in this video we will cover the gross anatomy of the lungs uh, this is part 3 of the uh, series we will discuss the relations of the apex and the base of the lung in part 2 of the video we have already covered the costal surface and the medial surface i am dr balasubramanyam work here as a professor in the department of anatomy st john's medical college bangalore india we will discuss the apex and the base as i told you this is the cadaver dissection the anterior chest wall has been removed to show the position of the heart and the lungs see the compact arrangement in the next slide i will remove the heart and you will see structures behind the heart um, namely the trachea and the left bronchus as seen here the right is also there but there is a dark area hence it's not very clearly seen and of course the esophagus is behind it let's look at the base now this again from the cadaveric uh, uh, specimen you can see the anterior chest wall is removed you can see the lung uh, the two lungs in c2 heart has been removed you can see below that is the base or the diaphragmatic surface is related this side right side the right dome left side the left dome of the diaphragm next relevant to this is at the lower edge of the uh, both the lungs there is a costo diaphragmatic recess the right and the left costo diaphragmatic recess the base itself except for a diaphragm relation there is nothing much but in terms of clinical aspect surgical anatomy this base the right costo diaphragmatic and the left costo are extremely important because you will see a lot of uh, problems or clinical uh, disorders where this space may be uh, in, in maybe in in pathological state now you see same thing in a plain x ray the two recesses in a normal x ray you can see the right and the left costo diaphragmatic recesses not in particular the the area is clear the angle is very very clearly seen that means it's a normal uh, lung however in contrast we have seen this in part 1 of the video you can see that arrow mark there shows an area that is uh, uh, not nat normally it should be dark because that's the area where the lung is there and the air should be there compare it with the right side which is absolutely normal left side there is some pathology the, because there is a white shadow it's most possibly uh, a pleural effusion or there may be um a one either a serious exudate or there may be blood or it may even be a pus the apex of the lung we will discuss in detail once again from the cadaver anterior thoracic wall has been removed let's examine the uh, the lung and the heart i'm sure is very uh, prominently seen the circled area right side as well as the left side is the region of current discussion namely the apex of the lung now see right lung 
left lung the black organ is, is highlighted you can see the arch of the aorta particularly its relation to the left lung is very clearly seen arch of the aorta ascending aorta this side brachiocephalic trunk from the arch that is the first branch uh, from the arch of the aorta brachiocephalic you can see actually the trunk going uh, towards the right and dividing into subclavian and uh, the uh, left uh, right common carotid arteries see next after the brachiocephalic you can see the left common carotid artery similarly you can see the veins they are lightly slightly in front of the plane of the arteries the right brachiocephalic vein and its lower continuation the superior vena cava now the superior vena cava is found by the right and the left brachiocephalic vein you can see that the right, left brachiocephalic vein is longer it crosses in front of the arch of the aorta joins the right brachiocephalic vein and uh, forms the superior vena cava trachea as it divides into the principal bronchus but that part is behind the arch of the aorta behind and below the arch of the aorta right common carotid artery i mentioned it in an earlier a little while back i am just showing it as a label the right phrenic nerve can be very clearly seen going down um, similarly this side on the left side the left pericardiac phrenic vessels and the phrenic nerve uh, they are plastered to the pericardium uh, the left one on the left side the right correspondingly on the uh, right part of the uh, pericardium you can also see once again i have retained the trachea the right phrenic nerve you can also see on the left behind the a little behind and a little darker uh, a little behind the left common carotid you can see the left subclavian artery and very close to it you can see the vagus nerve vagus nerve and the left subclavian artery here is a plain x-ray of the chest pa view you see that the area is the area of current discussion apex of the lung you can see in the vicinity in the upper part is the inner border of the rib remember the ribs are casting a slightly whitish shadow because of the bone material whereas the lung is uh, dark or, or more blackish uh, in its uh, shape next a little bit of the clavicle is also seen uh, this is a good reference uh, bone when you when you view the um, x-ray of, uh, of the chest next here is a ct chest coronal projection uh, let's see what we can identify with respect to current discussion that's the apex of the lung first rib clavicle now this one is a high resolution ct at the level of thoracic inlet roughly i repeat roughly at the level of the uh, first rib or uh, first thoracic vertebra you can see the clavicle the apex of the lung the dark region is the apex of the lung remember this is a ct you can also see the first rib and its continuation we are roughly at the angle of the rib medial to the angle is the body and the head lateral to the uh, sorry medial to the angle is the neck and the head lateral to the angle is the body because it's a cross section the rest of the body is not clear because of the slope downward slope of the first rib you can also see the mediastinal surface of the lung here although it's apex it's still the mediastinal surface is clear vertebral surface is clear now and that's the costal surface next trachea right in front uh, of the thoracic vertebra separated only by the esophagus remember right in front of the uh, vertebra is the esophagus uh, further in front is the trachea T1 vertebra which I pointed out now, that was a overview of the relations of two parts of the lung namely the apex and the base of the lung thank you